Coming up, the historic town of Lead is looking to step into the future with plans to revamp downtown. And higher education cuts could lead to higher tuition and fees at South Dakota universities. Plus, K-12 through schools are also staring down cuts in education funding. How does the Mead School District plan to tackle the tough times? The details are first on Fox tonight. School districts across South Dakota are preparing to make deep and difficult cuts to their budgets. In the wake of Governor Dennis Dugard's plan to cut 10% of the state's education funding for next year. For the Mead School District here in the Black Hills, the potential loss in state aid alone would be nearly $1,180,000. It's a scenario that Superintendent James Heinert says would deal a devastating blow to the quality of education. Okay. Why does the tell them to lie about their age? Why? As eighth graders at Sturgis Williams Middle School study the past, administrators in the Meat School District are planning for the future. A future with fewer dollars to spend on everything from library services to teachers. It will vary, you know, from, from level to level. But at the elementary level, we're seeing some hard choices between special programs uh, being eliminated, uh, as an example, music, art, things of that nature, or increasing class size. In a recent report meant to illustrate the potential impact of cuts, the principal of Piedmont Stage Barn Elementary said eliminating three teachers there would increase class sizes dramatically. In third grade classrooms, the student-teacher ratio would be 38 to 1. Possible cuts at the middle school in Sturgis could include library services, a counselor's position, and elective classes. At the high school, you're seeing the elimination of elective classes as well as increasing class sizes in core subject areas. And at least a dozen assistant coaching positions in athletic programs might be cut as well. The superintendent says the picture is not pretty. He says when you consider the local budgetary factors the district is dealing with and add in the reduction in state aid, Meet schools are facing a $1.7 million shortfall next year. When you look at the list, it virtually touches all aspects of all operations of Mead School District. And I believe it would deal us a, a devastating blow to the quality of education, let alone the economic impact. That's the impact of eliminating about 30 jobs in a district that employs roughly 330 people and enrolls about 2,500 students. Heinert says one proposal before South Dakota lawmakers creates a slightly better picture for districts statewide. The bill would hold local property tax levies for schools at their current levels, regardless of the state's level of funding. Currently, if the state funding falls, so too must the taxes in most districts. Governor Dennis Dugard said yesterday he would consider the bill, but made no promises. So I think it's appropriate for each school district to have that conversation with their property taxpayers and say, in, in I guess I would say if I were them, please don't let property taxes go down, maintain them where they are, continue to pay to the schools what you're paying. Everything in this plan Heinert says he's disappointed that education funding is being cut at all. He says adults need to be willing to make sacrifices for South Dakota's kids. It's not all about cutting budgets. It's about sufficiently and adequately supporting education for the children of the state of South Dakota. And I think it's time we do that. The state of South Dakota itself is facing a $127 million structural deficit that the governor wants to eliminate in just one year. His chief of staff, Dusty Johnson, said last week that education and Medicaid account for 85% of the state's general fund budget. And he said you can't get rid of the $127 million deficit if you hold 85% of the budget harmless. The South Dakota Board of Regents is also facing budget cuts for a third straight year. And those cuts can only mean one thing. Student tuition and fees at the state's public universities will have to go up. Black Hills Fox reporter Megan Palera has the story. South Dakota's public universities were dealt another blow this year when the governor announced his solution to the state's cash problems, a 10% across the board cut. That means those institutions will have $17.5 million less to work with, bringing state funding back to the level it was at in fiscal year 2007, when there were 4,300 fewer students. If the governor is successful in reconciling uh, uh, he, an entire structural deficit in a single year, then we would look forward to the following year when we start building uh, the budget back up again. The Board of Regents Executive Director, Dr. Jack Warner, spoke about budget challenges during a Northern Hills Rotary Club meeting this afternoon in Spearfish. On Monday, Dr. Warner will head to Pier to argue his case for more support in higher education. 
Last year, the Board of Regents system took a $3.8 million hit. This year, it was $6.5 million. Dr. Warner says if the proposed $17.5 million cuts go through, jobs will be lost and student tuition will go up. What we'll be seeking to show is a balance between having to make uh, some uh, real cost cutting uh, in the, the higher ed budget. There are things we'll have to stop doing. There will be certain services that we can't deliver anymore. We are rolling back the number of degree programs that we offer, but that reduces some student choice uh, down the line. The big question on everyone's mind this afternoon, when does the state's public university system become unaffordable? South Dakota students are paying their debts at rates three times better than the rest of the nation. So when we see increasing numbers of students defaulting on loans, that would be a, a sign for us that we're getting to be less affordable. Uh, and I think it's important for the state also to keep funding uh, scholarship aid like the South Dakota Opportunity Scholarship because that helps soften the impact of tuition increases for talented students. Dr. Warner knows there is not enough money to go around and that cuts are inevitable, but he's hoping to soften that blow when he speaks to the legislature next week, hoping to give those low-income students who will mostly be affected another chance to show off their talents. In Spearfish, Megan Polera, Black Hills, Fox News. Those potential cuts to schools in the state, along with other across-the-board cuts, have been a hot-button topic in Pierre this session. Jack Cottle has more. While well, Governor Dugard says he intends to stay with his plan, some legislators are campaigning for a temporary tax hike, hoping to ward off some of those cuts. And that takes us to our Tell It to Fox question of the week. This week we want to know, would you be willing to pay more in taxes to help close South Dakota's budget deficit? If not, how do you think the state should handle the budget deficit? Shay Towson of Rapid City wrote on Facebook, yes, if it means not cutting education, I think teachers here are paid low enough, don't you? But oh no, let's cut that budget even even more. I mean, why not? It's just education that is dripping with sarcasm, by the way. Hope Hager Combs writes, fight for social and economic justice begins in the classroom. Say no to cuts in education. Lori Sherry Main of Rapid City disagrees. Writing budget cuts are hard, but I think in light of the economy and all that's needed, the cuts are necessary. Temporary tax increases almost always end up becoming permanent. And Ron Iverson of Rapid City writes, how about temporary spending cuts instead of temporary tax increases? Offer bonuses to any and all employees that come up with successful spending cut ideas based on a percentage of how much is saved. You can read those complete letters plus more by going to our website at blackhillsfox.com and clicking on the Tell it to Fox button on the right side of the page. We'll have another question on Monday. The lineup boasts the big names in conservative politics, and South Dakota's own Republican senator was right in the mix, speaking at the Conservative Political Action Conference today. Ann Coulter, Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, and Representative Michelle Bachman are a few of those confirmed to speak. Today, Senator John Thune said he believes in limited government, along with fiscal and personal accountability. I believe in the wisdom of our founders and the sanctity of our Constitution. And I believe that in order for our values to have meaning, our actions must match our words. If you're blessed enough to serve in public office, then you shouldn't just talk a good name about your values. You should cast your vote according to them. American Conservative Union, which hosted today's conference in Washington, D.C., was founded in 1964. The organization says it's a group of Americans who are concerned with the issues of traditional values and national security, along with economic growth through lower taxes and reduced government spending. It was a packed house at Leeds City Hall last night as plans to redevelop downtown Leed were presented to the public. The plans consist of two developmental phases. Phase one would increase the number of parking areas. Phase two would include beautification, underground parking, additional apartments, and a fenced railing along main roads. The main concerns of the ad hoc committee working on the revitalization project are the parking issues and the possibility of moving the Black Hills Mining Museum and the city library. Yeah, I thought we had some very good input, um, uh, both positive and I think there were some citizens that they, you know that shared some concerns that they had with with the with the program. But I I think those were addressed and noted, and uh, uh, I think with the whole presentation showed what a great opportunity this is for us. And I think most of the most of the citizens that attended tonight see that. Committee members say the plans are a work in progress and they're still evaluating what changes could be made. Another meeting is scheduled later this month. 
Well, the weekend is here, and it's going to be the one we've all been waiting for. Meteorologist Keith Gibson is standing by in the Skyview Forecast Center to tell us all about it. He was actually counting down the hours <laughs> until the good weekend starts right before the show. Indeed, and we are finally here, folks. We have made it through some very cold weather. These are the averages right now, by the way. Low 30s to the low 40s, but for the next five days, we're looking at highs ranging from the mid-40s in the north to the low 60s, perhaps, in the northern and eastern foothills, possibly even in the rapid city as well. So something to look forward to as we go through time. Right now, we do have some high clouds out there. That's it for tonight into tomorrow morning. Lows will be quite mild tonight. 22 in Custer, 32 in Deadwood, 25 out towards Hewlett. In Gillette, 28 degrees. Spearfish, worst case scenario here, 33 degrees. 33 in Sturgis, very mild tonight. We stay warm for the weekend, and next week I'll be back with all these specific numbers in just a few minutes. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Keith. The 211 helpline is celebrating five years of assistance to people who need to connect to social service agencies. Today is part of the celebration, Hot 93.1, and Arby's treated the first 211 people to enter the door at the Arby's Rushmore Road location to a free sausage biscuit. Hot 93.1's Chase and Buckner broadcasted live from the Arby's parking lot this morning. 211 is a simple way for anyone to get help from social service agencies they might not otherwise be familiar with. We are with. trying to create awareness through National 211 Day of what 211 is and hopefully um, help people to understand what types of things they can call about and how we can be helpful to them. <laughs> Well, the 211 helpline began service in the Black Hills in 2006. Since then, the organization says it has answered more than 30,000 calls from local residents. A gas pipeline explosion rocks Ohio just one day after a similar blast in Pennsylvania. That's our top story as Fox's Shepard Smith takes us on a trip across America. Ohio, the explosion at a natural gas pipeline east of Canton, rocking several villages in the area. Residents up to 40 miles away say they saw a glow in the sky. Heard uh, a loud noise and it actually shook my truck on the road and then everything went orange. The county sheriff's office reports no injuries. Pennsylvania, a day before that Ohio incident, this deadly blast in Allentown killed five people flattened a pair of row houses and set fire to a block of homes. Investigators focusing on an 83-year-old cast iron gas main. The incident raising new questions about the safety of the nation's aging pipeline network. North Carolina, a gruesome end to an attempted bank robbery and it played out on live TV in a Raleigh suburb. Authorities say the 19-year-old suspect took seven hostages, later releasing four. One woman fell to her knees once she got outside Armed officers went in and grabbed her. Police also evacuated a nearby daycare. There were a lot of them there helping the kids get out. The gunman made his final move after darkness fell, leaving the bank with his weapon aimed right at a hostage's head. And that's when a police sniper took him out. I've never seen one of someone go before. It's really scary and I'm still taking Nobody else hurt, and that's a Fox watch. Across America, Coming up tonight on Black Hills Fox News at 9, a woman accused of setting into motion the events that ultimately led to the death of an American Indian Movement member has passed away. We'll bring you the story when your late news continues. Also on the way for you tonight, it's a story that has captured the imagination of kids everywhere, but if you're following the yellow brick road to the opening of the stage production of The Wizard of Oz in Rapid City, you may notice a few people who are not as excited. We'll explain after the break. Live, you're watching Black Hills Fox News at 9 with Justin Pizzera, Julie Oberlander, Keith Gibson with weather, and sports with Jimmy Zepp. This is the Black Hills. This is Black Hills Fox. Now at Dairy Queen, you can get the chicken strip basket meal for just $3.99. Oh, come on. A super? What can a super do that I can't? Big deal. Ooh, 3D. Let me get my glasses. Okay, that's pretty cool. The amazing chicken strip basket at DQ. 100% white meat chicken, golden fries, gravy, and Texas toast. All for just $3.99. 
February is a short month, so First Gold Hotel and Gaming in Deadwood has their work cut out for them. Inside of 27 days, First Gold will give away five Sony High Def and 3D TVs, four laptop computers, a new ATV, and a new Ford Ranger. Win your share of $15,000 in promo hot seat cash every weekend, plus triple point Mondays and triple prize Tuesdays. First Gold has something to give away every day of the week. First Gold Hotel and Gaming on Main Street. It's where Deadwood begins and the winning never ends. Look, for the 34th straight year, Ford F-Series is the best-selling brand of trucks in America. And it ain't by accident. It's from nonstop, nose-to-the-grindstone dedication. That's how you become a leader. Cranking out the most power, the most towing, and the best fuel economy. Ford F-150, Ford Super Duty, the best-selling trucks for 34 straight years. Now lease a new 2011 F-150 Super Crew XLT with chrome and tow for $297 a month. Visit your local Ford store today. A good night's sleep can lead to a happier, healthier, more productive life. Get a better night's sleep on a new mattress from Simply Sleep Better. Through Monday, when you purchase select Simmons Beautyrest mattresses, you'll get the matching box spring free, a savings of up to $600. Simmons Beautyrest mattresses feature patented pocketed coils to conform to the body and reduce motion and disturbance. Purchase a new Simmons Beautyrest mattress and get the box spring free. Plus pay no interest if paid in full within 12 months. Through Monday, only at Simply Sleep Better, Mount Rushmore Road next to Carpet Mart in Rapid City. The Office, five times a week. Weeknights at 10.30. Still ahead on Black Hills Fox News, getting ready to say I do. Before you and your sweetheart take that walk down the aisle, you should take a walk on a treadmill. How does working out work on your relationship? Find out in about 15 minutes. One of the participants in a 35-year-old murder case has died. Thelma Rios of Rapid City was the woman accused of making the phone call that put into motion the events that led to the death of American Indian Movement activist Anime Akwash in 1975. Rios pleaded guilty last year to one count of accessory to kidnapping and received a five-year suspended sentence with 90 days served behind bars. According to an obituary published by the Serenity Springs Funeral Chapel, Rios died Wednesday. She was 65 years old. To many, he was the author of a wonderful story that has thrilled children for generations. But to many others, he was a vicious racist who hated minorities and even called for their extermination. A group of Native Americans stood outside the entrance of the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center tonight to protest the opening of The Wizard of Oz. The United Urban Warrior Society says it is conducting a peaceful protest of the play tonight and tomorrow to educate the public about the true nature of the man who wrote the story more than 100 years ago. The society says L. Frank who wrote the original Wizard of Oz, also wrote a series of editorials in his Aberdeen newspaper in which he called for the extermination of the Lakota you know, people. Is this the man that, that we want to honor in South Dakota? We keep honoring these kind of people, and the healing between our peoples is never going to, it's not going to change. It's just going to cycle around over and over and over and over and over. L. Frank Baum was a New Yorker who moved to Aberdeen to publish a newspaper in 1888. When the paper failed three years later, he moved to Chicago. It was there that he wrote The Wonderful Wizard of Oz in 1900. And in case you rented The Wizard of Oz, Attorney General Marty Jackley is advising South Dakotans who were customers of movie gallery Hollywood Video to check their credit report. And that leads off our Black Hills Fox News Brace tonight. Jack Lee says his Consumer Protection Division has received complaints from people who say they have negative information on their credit reports associated with the rental chain's bankruptcy. A debt collection agency filed negative reports for customers who have late fees. National Credit Solutions has said it did nothing illegal. The Wyoming House has backed continuing the state's film incentive program. Representatives voted 45 to 12 yesterday to extend the cash rebates to filmmakers who shoot in Wyoming. The program has been in existence for three years and some say it has helped promote Wyoming tourism. The Wyoming State Senate has passed a bill that would grant certain tax exemptions to mega data centers built in the cowboy state. Communications giant Verizon is considering locating a $4 billion data center in that state. Some hope the bill will help Verizon commit to the project and attract other centers to Wyoming. Venezuelan lawmakers were throwing punches in Parliament. That's our top story now as Fox's Shepard Smith takes us around the world in 80 seconds. Venezuela. 
allies and adversaries of President Hugo Chavez coming to blows in the National Assembly in Caracas. It started when somebody tried to remove an opposition party member from the speaker's podium, then several other lawmakers jumped in. The whole thing broadcast on live TV. No serious injuries reported. Greece. Transportation workers walking off the job in Athens. It's the latest in a series of work stoppages over government cutback plans. Hundreds of workers riding scooters and motorbikes toward the transport ministry. Officials say the reforms will help secure a big international bailout loan. Russia. A group of women, some in mini skirts, protesting outside a cathedral in St. Petersburg. They're demanding city authorities do a better job of removing snow and ice from the streets. The mess has reportedly resulted in dozens of injuries, including the death of a six-year-old. As for the costumes, well, they're just to attract attention. China. An online campaign to gather photos of homeless kids helping reunite families. Many of these children who beg on the streets across the country were reportedly sold into virtual slavery and forced to beg after gangs kidnapped them. Several now back with their families. That's a wrap on this Fox trip around the world. 80 seconds. Well, still to come, shoppers are feeling good as consumer confidence begins to rise. More on that story is headed your way a little later. Also ahead tonight, this show is picture perfect as local artists showcase their best work at this year's winter art show at the Matthews Opera House in Spearfish. Take a tour with us coming up. I'm Jamie Zepp. The Rapid City Rush is tough enough to wear pink as they set their sights on a ninth straight CHL win. And Class A juggernauts collide on the boys' basketball hardwood as number one faces number three. St. Thomas More hosting rival Custer. Boys' basketball highlights are coming up later with Black Hills Fox Sports. We have a super duper weekend coming on up. Details are next. Burgers two day sale Friday and Saturday starting at 9 a.m. with hundreds of bonus buys. Don't forget your $10 coupon in most Thursday's papers or online at herburgers.com. Brands you know, prices you love. Herburgers. At Dickies, we don't try to be all things to all people. We know how to do one thing well hot pit smoke, great barbecue. Dickies has been serving the same family recipes since before I was born. We buy only the highest quality meats for barbecuing. We season them and smoke them slow over hickory wood. Then we serve our barbecued meats with our family's recipe for barbecue sauce. Dickies in Rapid City is located off exit 58 and the corner of Lindbergh and Haynes Avenue. Dickies, slow smoke, serve fast. <laughs> it took him five years to ask me out, five years to propose, and five years to agree to hardwood floors in the dining room. Now I have five years to pay for him. <laughs> This week at Flooring America, buy any carpet, any hardwood, any laminate, any ceramic floor and take five years to pay. That's five years special financing on your new floors. <laughs> Give me five. I don't want to. Uh, come on, let me hit it. you every step of the way. It's time to go where the snow is and hit the slopes at Terry Peak. With well over 110 inches for the season, the conditions are no less than excellent. All chairlifts and trails are open and the park is literally busting out. So bring your friends and family and enjoy some great winter fun. The new Snow Sports School offers affordable beginner and intermediate packages and a convenient on-area rental shop will get you on and off the slopes fast. So take advantage of this great winter and get to Terry Peak. Herburgers two day sale Friday and Saturday starting at 9 a.m. with hundreds of bonus buys. Don't forget your $10 coupon in most Thursday's papers or online at herburgers.com. Brands you know, prices you love. Herburgers. The Black Hills Power Cam, only on your Skyview forecast. Brought to you by Black Hills Power, improving life with energy. This is your Skyview forecast. Thank goodness it's Friday, and not just Friday, but also a Friday before what will be a beautiful weekend. Gorgeous so it weather. it's finally upon us. And this is a weekend with no winter storm warnings, no freezing fog, nothing. It's been a little while, huh? You called a this long time. a super duper Super weekend. duper. <laughs> super duper. There we go. Let's just talk about it here. Let's get into the forecast. Now, 
If you do have plans to hit the snowmobile trails, we are looking at the reports that are coming in as excellent for the northern and central hills, good to excellent in the southern Black Hills. So we're doing great on the trails. We're doing great on the slopes. Now it will be a little bit warmer in Rapid City, Sturgis and Spearfish here with a downslope wind as we go throughout the next five days. And that's going to add a few extra degrees to the readings in these locations and get things close to 60 degrees. Maybe not so much tomorrow, but by early next week, it's going to be downright springy around here. Now the wind is generally from the west right now. Very light and rapid city, but stronger here towards Gillette. Overall tonight into tomorrow, 10 to 20, maybe up to 25 miles per hour. 37 degrees in the city of Spearfish right now. Very nice and balmy at this hour. 32 at the airport in Rapid City, 28 in Custer. That's really the cold spot in the viewing area right now in Custer. So these values here are still very nice and balmy on a Friday evening in February. And across the region, there you go, it's still 29 in Sioux Falls. They too have climbed out of the deep freeze. We have scoured out the last of the Arctic air region wide. Now, right now we do have some high clouds coming down from Canada. These will move through the region tonight into tomorrow. I do suspect those, uh, those clouds to thin out tomorrow afternoon and overall we are looking at mostly sunny skies for a while but from time to time patches of thicker clouds will be moving on through the region as we go throughout the next few days we have a big ridge of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere that will be moving on in here and underneath that high pressure will be very quiet weather and gradually warmer weather as we get into next week you can see these greens showing up across the northern plains as we get into early next week 50s, perhaps some low 60s, but much cooler weather will be waiting in the wings by the end of next week. So this is still winter. We are not in the spring yet. We will see more snow around here and cooler weather, but right now for the next five days, things are looking great. We are on cruise control. 51 degrees out towards the Badlands tomorrow in the city of Wall. 55 in Rapid City. Springy. We could be a little bit warmer than that, but let's just go with a conservative 55 and let's just see what happens. 52 in Hot Springs tomorrow, 55 in Hermosa, about 50 in Hill City, low 50s in Lead in Deadwood, 51 in Spearfish, 53 in Sturgis, 48 for you out towards Hewlett, Wyoming. Down here in southwestern South Dakota, low 50s, very nice weather. Pine Ridge, Martin out towards Murdo. In northwestern South Dakota, into the mid 40s in Bison and Buffalo and Faith. Lemon at 44, around 50 in Newell and in Balfouche. 47 in Newcastle and Wright, 46 in Moorcroft, also in Gillette for our Saturday. And the good stuff just keeps on coming. 55 on Sunday, 60 on Monday, our Valentine's Day. We are all loving that. 62 on Tuesday, 56 on Wednesday. Our next chance for any cooler weather will be at the end of next week, 45 Thursday, 34 on Friday with a chance for a little bit of light rain and snow by the end of next week. But until then, guys, we're looking great. All right. Thank you very much, Keith. And be sure to tune in to Black Hills Fox News Saturday night. Here's a sneak peek at tomorrow's headlines today. Another legislative cracker barrel is set to take place in the Black Hills. This time at the Stage Barn Reception Hall, we'll catch up with local lawmakers there. And the Department of Veterans Affairs invites the public to participate in a variety of patriotic events meant to salute our veterans. We'll bring you more on that story. Plus, gather your poles and lures and join us for the Black Hills Anglers Ice Fishing Extravaganza. Catch those stories. Get it? Got it? I do. Get those stories tomorrow night right here on Black Hills Fox News at 9. Still ahead, be sure to stay with us as another high school hopeful tries to make the grade as our Rising Star of the West Scholarship competition rolls on. And before the wedding bells ring, get those barbells ringing and make sure your spouse joins in. Why couple workouts work more than your biceps? That's on the way in tonight's Your Health. This corn started with eco-friendly seed. It grew with the help of eco-friendly tools because this land is the most important tool of all. Some people plan for the future. Farmers plant it. Brought to you by SDN Communications. Powering intelligent networks across eight states. Take a good look at this chicken. Can you find the nuggets on it? Neither could we. Introducing hand breaded chicken tender boxes. Available in 10, 15, and 20 pieces. Because chickens don't have nuggets. New at Hardee's. 
Yeah, I've been snowboarding for 16, 17 years. I just enjoy going out, getting a trick and just getting it dialed so you can just stomp it every time. You'll have days where everything's just clicking and you're able to just land everything you try. I don't even like stopping to eat. When you're riding and everything's going well, you feel invincible. Just seeing me out on the hill and riding and just having a good time, they're gonna come in here and know that I know what I'm talking about. It makes a big difference with the customers. I'm Wade Fisher, and I'm one of the snowboard experts at Shields. NASCAR is back. The Bud Shootout and Daytona 500 qualifying. This weekend on Fox. This water has acres of protection. Acres of cover crops and filter strips to help keep it clean today. And acres of knowledge to ensure it stays clean tomorrow. Some people plan for the future. Farmers plant it. Live, you're watching Black Hills Fox News at 9. Valentine's Day is almost here, and if love is in the air and your sweetheart proposes, here's something for you to think about before the big day. If you want to get in shape for your wedding day, you may want to ask your soon-to-be spouse to work out with you. Fox's Sierra Comer explains why in tonight's Your Health. From finding the wedding dress to cutting the cake, wedding planning can make even the most perfect couples go bonkers. And to top it off, there's a ton of pressure to look perfect on the big day. Just ask fitness expert and trainer on the new show, Shedding for the Wedding, Jennifer Cohen, who is helping brides and grooms-to-be lose those extra pounds before they say, I do. Tell me to pull. Pull? What do you tell me to go for? And now she's sharing her advice. First, Jennifer says don't let the stress get you down. Working out is the best way to combat stress by far because you're getting out of your pent-up aggression. And on top of that, when you feel like you're being productive and you're taking care of yourself, that helps alleviate the stress. Next, between all the appointments with the caterer, the florist, and the DJ, don't forget to make time for fitness. People should schedule working out like they would anything else in their life, like they would any other meeting, because it is, it's the most important thing you can do for yourself, and people always shove it at the bottom of the list. Jennifer says working out together is not only beneficial for your overall well-being, but it's also great for your relationship. It's a challenge. I mean, to be very healthy and to be conscientious, it's, it takes work. Nothing but nothing worth anything comes easy. And when you do that with somebody that you love and you care about, it just, it just brings you closer. In a way, it's like team building, right? So you're working with your partner in doing something to change your lives together. Just kind of make your relationship stronger. So before you walk down the aisle, make a commitment to exercise with each other. Go to the gym, work out at home, or even walk every evening together. Because after true love, the most important thing you can do for your health is to get moving. I'm Dr. Sanara Coomer, Fox News. Tonight, we're wrapping up week one of this year's Rising Star of the West Scholarship Contest. Our 20 contestants are all shooting for their share of $7,500 in scholarship money from Black Hills Fox and First Interstate Bank. We finish up the week with Central High School senior Kenna Patrick. Hello, my name is Kenna Patrick, and I am a senior at Central High School. What would we do if we had no fear? This question seems unanswerable since most of us have something holding us back. The fear of failure, disappointment, what others think, or just a lack of confidence in ourselves stops us from achieving our dreams. Yet, we only have one life to live and only ourselves to be. Why let that fear stop you from joining the activity you have always wanted to try or saying hi to the person you have always wished to talk to? Burn your barriers, conquer your fears, grab hold of your dreams, take the risk, and jump into being the person you desire to be. Now we need your help to pick this week's winner and the first of our four finalists. Go to our website at blackhillsfox.com and click on the Rising Star button. After tonight's news, you can watch all five of this week's videos and rate each one. Then on Monday, on the 6th, we'll announce our first weekly winner. On Monday night at 9, we'll start week two of this year's competition. We'll start off the week with Stevens High School senior Micah Ogren. Well, from amateurs to professionals, local artists in the Northern Hills are showing off their best stuff this weekend. The 32nd Annual Winter Art Show comes to life at the Matthews Opera House. More than 150 pieces of work are on display and ready to be viewed. It's, one, it's the one time during the year when 
where anyone in the Spearfish community can be a part of the juried show. Cash prizes will be awarded for first place, best this in show, year, and people's choice. Uh, we seem to have gotten a lot of professional entries in. Last year they had a lot of grade school entries. And so it, it, it's always in that 150 to 180 range uh, over the last handful of years. But uh, the art is always different, and it's always exciting to see what comes in. Well, the show opened today and continues tomorrow from noon to 6 at Matthews Opera House. Awards will be presented on Sunday and is also open to the public. Stay with us for sports tonight. We hit the rink decked out in pink as the Rapid City Rush charge back into action at home. Plus, as the debate continues to heat up over the health care reform law, one Iowa doctor is going back to a simpler time. We'll explain coming up in tonight's Fox Files. Big time. Yeah, I got it at DQ. Oh. Oh, hey, I'll take it in. It's okay, honey. I got it. Come on, baby. Just let me help you out. Well, you can grab the forks. Give me the cake. Fine. Here. Thank you. Huh. Oh, baby. Look what I have. <laughs> I got the forks. Get the cake, get the love with Dairy Queen Valentine's Day Cakes. Or try our featured DQ Blizzard Cake. <sighs> Through Monday at Fearless Fisher TVs and Appliances 62nd Anniversary Sale. Get your new HDTV and appliances with three years no interest. Get a Toshiba 40-inch 1080p LCD TV for only $499, a $300 savings. Or Whirlpool Energy Star Super Capacity Deluxe Washer and Dryer Pair. Now only $748 for the pair, a $400 savings. Or get a 32-inch LCD TV for only $299, a $150 savings. Plus, get no interest to paint in full within 36 months, but hurry, quantities are limited. Through Monday at Fearless Fisher TVs and Appliances in Fisher Home Galleries, West Main, Rapid City. Digital Preferred Plus with Encore Movies. High speed internet. Smart Choice Phone with unlimited local and nationwide long distance and more. All for just $79 a month for 12 months, guaranteed with no contracts. Hurry, this offer won't last long. Call now. Technology. What can you do? Tonight's travel weather is brought to you by Knology. We're all connected. We've had some snow around here during the last 24 hours. That activity has now moved over here into the Great Lakes, and that will stay over there as we get into the weekend. And how about this? A quiet national map. No major storms in the nation at this point, and that's the way it should stay this weekend. But we do have a bit of an issue here in southeastern Wyoming. High wind warnings have been issued for these areas west of I-25, west of Cheyenne. Gusty wind through Sunday morning, sustained 30 to 45 with gusts to about 65. So if you're traveling off to Denver, a bit breezy down there. 47 degrees in Cheyenne tomorrow. Sunny skies, however, in the capital of Wyoming. Down here into Colorado, into the 50s as well. In Denver at 53 degrees. Maybe you're going off to the east, out towards Sioux Falls. Those folks over there, our friends and neighbors in eastern South Dakota, also sharing in the warmth above freezing. has been a rare occasion so far this year, unlike West River. 38 degrees, partly sunny skies. And over in the capital city of Pier, we are looking at a high near 46 degrees, 39 in Aberdeen, 37 in Watertown. Across eastern Montana, pretty quiet as well. Partly cloudy skies and temperatures warming into the 40s in Billings, 50 in Sheridan, and 50 in Buffalo, Wyoming. All right, thank you, Keith. Consumer confidence is on the rise, but so are gasoline prices. Fox's Elizabeth McDonald has the latest in tonight's Fox Means Business report. Consumer confidence is picking up. People surveyed saying they're feeling more optimistic about the economy and the job market. Oil dropping more than a dollar today, now back below 86 bucks a barrel. Crude falling after Egyptian President Hazi Mubarak steps down. All the uncertainty there has been spooking oil markets here. To Wall Street, the Dow gaining 43 points in trading today. Spiking 180 points higher this week, now up nearly 700 points so far this year. 
But Nokia shares diving 15% today. Investors not loving news. The cell phone company will use Microsoft's operating system in its smartphone. The more donuts you pack away, the better chance you'll get to fly away for free. Customers using their American Express card at Dunkin' Donuts this month get entered into a sweepstakes. The winner flies free on JetBlue for a year. And that's business. I'm Liz McDonald. It's Herberger's signature two-day sale. Now through Saturday, find huge savings storewide and hundreds of bonus buys. Shop in store or online at herbergers.com. Welcome to Papa Murphy's. Are you okay? Yeah, never saw that telephone pole, but I still need to spread the love, so I'm going to need a lot of those heart-shaped pizzas. Pronto. We can do that. Make Valentine's Day extra special with a heart-shaped pizza from Papa Murphy's. Made with fresh dough, 100% real cheese, and premium pepperoni. Get a heart-shaped pepperoni pizza full of love for only 7 bucks. Handmade, fresh, home-baked great. That's Papa Murphy's. Ow! I'm one, I'm two, I'm three times all into you. Inside my heart it still beats. I'm four, I'm five, I'm six at the Inside my heart, it still beats. Bum, bum. Engineered so well, it's been named one of Car and Driver's 10 best more times than any other car. The Accord. For great leases and low financing, go to shophonda.com or see your Honda dealer. This month, every day, any of your favorite regular footlongs are $5 footlongs. Even the melty steak and cheese and the delicious chicken and bacon ranch. Join the celebration. Facebook Friend of the Week. Brought to you by Eileen's Colossal Cookies. Congratulations to Renee Collins, our Black Hills Fox Facebook Friend of the Week. If you want to be a winner, log on to Facebook and become a Black Hills Fox Friend. Facebook Friend of the Week. Brought to you by Eileen's Colossal Cookies. Between the layoffs and the rising cost of health care, a trip to the doctor is becoming expensive for many families. But one small-town Iowa doctor who was about to retire saw the need for his services and reopened his doors with one major change. He doesn't charge his patients a penny. Ryan Luby has the story. If only small towns shared secrets. If only the rest of the country knew about Atlantic, Iowa. They'd know about a mismatched brick building, half block from Town Square, where aesthetics mean little, where the sign near the door reads as big as the listing in the yellow pages. And it isn't a big listing. <laughs> a place where small town values stare you straight in the face. I've always enjoyed helping people, you know. Dr. Keith Swanson, once a surgeon, is 78 years old. His knowledge of medicine is just as seasoned as some of the equipment in his office he bought 50 years ago. The reason this table is so good is that it is not all automatic. Twelve years ago, Swanson retired and nearly left it all behind to work for free overseas. But then his wife Bernice thought better. And I said, if you want to volunteer, just stay right here. And she said, you don't need to go somewhere and do missionary work open the office back up. Her way with words rescheduled his retirement. His love and her love for people, those who have to pinch their pennies, kept them put right in their own hometown. And I said I never knew how to charge anyone. What was an office call worth? What was what I did worth? And that's when I fixed the, the box and said, you know, do it for nothing. Ever since. It's the same shoebox. The Swanson's homemade remedy to rising health care costs. It hasn't worn out. Has eliminated all the bills and all the middlemen. It's just a hassle. 99% of the people who see Doc Swanson pay what they can, but they need not pay anything at all. Many people have lost their jobs and they've lost their insurance. Swanson's welcomed all the regulars. Deep breath. Some who've been patients here for decades. Deep breath. Some who wouldn't put their family's faith in anyone else. He's been my doctor all my life, and uh, 
he's trustworthy. Don't think others haven't noticed. I saw a lady from Ackworth the other day. I said, where in the world is Ackworth? This unspoken healer sees and files more than 150 people every week, all of them without appointments. I think they drive by, and if there aren't cars sitting out in front, they stop. If there are cars sitting out in front, they go do some shopping and come back. Each of them finding comfort in Doc's box of generosity, donating about $10 each. So somebody donates 20 and the next one doesn't donate anything, and it averages out at $10. Dr. Swanson may be a small-town Iowa secret. I got a stethoscope somewhere here. And for now an everlasting one. I always tell people the last day if I walk down that hall and die you'll know I'm not going to be here tomorrow. But the real secret is the simplicity of his kindness spelled out in big font and bold print. The fun of life is giving and most people miss the fun of life. Doc Swanson learned long ago the wealth in life is not keeping secrets but sharing them. Money is the least important. If people would forget about money and provide service it would be a wonderful world in your throat. Can you say, ah? The only services not covered by Swanson for free are State Department of Transportation physicals. Swanson says because of all the paperwork and the specific battery of tests, he charges $60 for those exams. And be sure to tune in to Monday night's Fox Files when we take you to California to get a glimpse into the life of one of America's most popular presidents. We'll take you out to Simi Valley, California for a tour of the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. That's on Monday night's Fox Files right here on Black Hills Fox News at 9. Still to come tonight, the Rapid City Rush tries to make it nine in a row on the CHL ice. And the St. Thomas Moore girls battle to maintain their undefeated record. Black Hills Fox Sports is coming up next. Years ago, the journey was just as much fun as the destination. Nowadays, we all seem to be in a hurry, and that's okay. But when it's time for a break, or a childhood favorite, there's a station not far away that can lend a hand. Sure, we may have different names in different places, but it's always the same friendly smiles and service that makes a trip across town or across country that much more pleasant. Whatever your needs or wishes, just look for Johnny wherever your travels take you. After years of dreaming, James was finally able to move his family and his business to the Black Hills. He knew one of the most important decisions was to find a bank that he could trust. He had come from down the interstate, now he wanted a local bank. He was looking to put down some roots. That's when he turned to Pioneer Bank and Trust. We won't put you in a box. Room for big ideas. No room for big bank boxes. Pioneer Bank and Trust. Local. For every room, there's one perfect floor. For five days only through Monday, carpet three rooms for one low price at Carpet Mart. Get three rooms of stain-resistant carpet completely installed with cushion for only $699. Imagine three rooms of carpet professionally installed with cushion for just $699. Based on 360 square feet. Plus, get your new flooring with no money down and no interest to fade and full within 12 months. Now that's one great deal. Hurry! This sale ends Monday at Carpet Mart, Mount Rushmore Road, Rapid City. Your exclusive Carpet One dealer. I'm Brian Haig, managing partner of the law firm Whiting, Haig, Haig, Dorsey & Haig. As a full-service law firm, we are committed to getting the best results for our clients. We have a reputation for being fair and getting the job done. If you're injured in a motor vehicle accident and are out of work because of someone's carelessness, let us put our experience to work for you, especially when it comes to insurance companies. To learn more about how we're helping others just like you, log on to RapidCityLaw.com or call Whiting, Haig, Haig, Dorsey & Haig. This is Black Hills Fox Sports. TGIF, everyone. The road could not have been more kind to the Rapid City Rush. The annual Black Hills Stock Show road trip resulted in an eight-game winning streak for the Rush, who vaulted back into a two-way tie for first in the Turner Conference standings. Tonight, the Rush returned home for the first time, looking to extend the streak at the expense of the Arizona Sundogs. And the cute kid cam celebrating pink at the rink night for breast cancer awareness. Rush press pressuring early Dave Grimson, taking the loose puck from out in front. The slapper from the point corralled by Doug Gronesteg as uh, that one turned away by Arizona. Rush on the attack once more. Derek LeBlanc to Les Rainey. Back to LeBlanc, but he is stuffed at the doorstep. A great opportunity, but uh, great goaltending there out in front. Uh, still later in the contest, Rush give up a power play. Kyle Hood with the wrister from out in front, turned away by Danny Batacchio. Later in the first, Scott Ray, he will end up throwing this one on goal. A mad scramble out in front, but the Rush cannot stuff that 
that one home as Gronestig ends up coming through strong once again. Arizona drawing first blood about midway through the first. Jason Visser behind the net feeds Maxime Renaud, who one times at home for the first goal of the contest. But less than a minute to go, uh, less than a minute later, Conrad Reeder to Ryan Manet. A beautiful wrister, and that one is into the goal for the equalizer. The rush leading this one with the, just about a minute to play in the uh, third period of action. Four to two, the rush leading in the third. To the basketball court we go, and more pink. St. Thomas Moore Cavaliers in action against rival Black Hills Conference Custer Wildcats. And this one uh, looking to avenge their only loss. Sky Warwick going baseline, finds himself in some trouble, has to get creative, and gets the nice pretty layup to go. Trevor Schreiber dishing to Brandon Smith, who cans the wide open three. Here come the Wildcats. Next time down, Luke Roddy matches Smith's efforts as he hits a three of his own. Custer was as close as five with about eight minutes remaining, and that's when the Cavs would pull away. Brandon Bassett taking over the game. Saves it to uh, Garrett Tucker, who hits the short jumper. And Bassett spinning baseline here gets that one to go. St. Thomas Moore increasing the lead to 10. A couple of minutes later, it's Bassett again. This time pops the three from the corner, and the Cavaliers come away victorious, avenging that earlier loss to the Wildcats. 56 to 41, your final count in that one. Out to Box Elder we go. Douglas hosting Bell Fouche. Second half, Douglas trailing Matt Vincent, finding some space and knocks down the three from the wing. The Pats trailing it by six in the second half of play. Bell Fouche coming right back down. Austin Kudlock breaking to the rack and uh, hits the layup there down low. Douglas the other direction now. Matt Vincent feeding Mac Vincent. He will end up taking a shot from way outside and knocks down that three. Bell Fouche showing it has some range as well. Corey Hewitt pushing this one back over to Kudlock for three more from out in front and he will nail that one. Mac Vincent back the other way feeling it. Makes a couple of nice jukes to open up some space. Gets the fake to go and uh, drops that three once more. But it is Belfouche going on to win this one though we did not have a final score from that one but Belfouche did win. Back to uh, St. Thomas Moore, the Cavalier girls in action against Custer. Caitlin Duffy getting the steal. You can't stop her when she's full head of steam. She converts and the Cavaliers are cooking. Duffy once again, this time for three. Is there nothing that this girl can't, can't do? Yeah, I know. I just used a double negative there. I apologize. Custer, Samantha McNeil gets ahead of the pack, shakes one defender and scores. Custer struggled to get the offense working in the first half of play. Sometimes you just got to spice it up a little bit. Uh, St. Thomas Moore, Duffy missing, but Alexis Swedland snatches the rebound calmly, strokes the three. St. Thomas Moore up by 12 at that point. The Cavaliers continuing to uh, pressure off the inbounds play. Duffy once again, the lefty gets nothing but net. Cavaliers had an 18-3 lead at the end of the first quarter, and they do not look back. Staying undefeated in girls basketball action, 77-19, your final score. To the college game we go. South Dakota Mines hosting Mayville State. Mayville State in action uh, for the men. First quarter, Mayville's Ross Amon going one-on-one -on -one with Kyle Dewar. Initially denied. Sticks with the play. Scores giving Mayville the lead early in this one. More from MSU as uh, then it was the Comets. Uh, speedy point guard Brian Piles shaking his man. Knocking down the jumper from the top of the circle. That would be the last time the Comets would have the lead. Dewar getting a little revenge on Amon. Here as he backs down the smaller defender. Uses his size to score off glass. Back come the Hard Rockers. Then it's Tex, uh, Caleb Rammer, who uh, had just checked into the game, makes a nice cut and goes high off the glass. Hard Rockers with the lead. Then uh, Dewar with the role of distributor finds uh, Lucas Nolan. Mines on the break now. Michael Dietz gets ahead of everyone for the lay-in. Mines up 50-29 to at the half as they end up going on to win it in this one. 85-70, to your final score. Black Hill State cruising past Dakota State, 78-64, your final score. Off to the women's game we go, Mayville and South Dakota Mines. Comets kick off the scoring as Haley Longton, blowing by everyone, finishes with the left hand for two. More from the Lady Hard Rockers here as Hillary Hawkins missing the three-point attempt, but Tristan Burnett is there to clean up the garbage. She will put this one in to tie the game up. More from South Dakota Mines. Two possessions later, Burnett driving, gets the dime as she finds Jerrica Enan for the bucket down low. Mines taking the lead and some great ball movement here from Mines as Ariel Granillo pump fakes, knocks down the baseline jumper late in the corner uh, the quarter rather as the half uh, Stephanie Bustrom with the pretty pass down low to Enan who finishes strong next possession Burnett missing the three-point attempt but good looking freshman Justine Blade is there to get things rolling gets the rebound puts it back up and in for two as uh, South Dakota Mines picks up the win tonight 65 47 your final score Black Hill State cruising by Dakota State 88 to 58 your final score 
for the rest of tonight's scores, head to our website at BlackHillsFox.com. And with the uh, presumable win tonight by the Rush, Colorado lost earlier this evening. So the Rush, should they hold on to win, and I'm sure they did, uh, have uh, sole possession of first place in the Turner Conference. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Jamie. Sure. Coming up, Keith Gibson will be back with one more look at your sunny weekend forecast. Plus, Gaga has some new music, and the X-Men return to their roots in the Hollywood Nation. Hollywood highlights are heading your way after the break. Stay with us. A message from the Better Bundled Bureau. Bundled blunders. They're on the rise as more people get blunderized by the supposed savings. However, in head-to-head -head tests, most bundles burst, leaving customers shortchanged and under-entertained. But not the $79 Theater DVR Suite and Midconet Preferred Broadband Bundle. Lightning-fast Midconet Broadband and digital cable chock full of freebies. Get the $79 Theater DVR Suite and Midconet Preferred Broadband Bundle and avoid the bundle blunder. From 1949 to 2011, Fisher Furniture has been bringing the largest selection and the lowest furniture prices to the Black Hills. Hi, I'm Bob Fisher. Come celebrate with us. But hurry, our 62nd anniversary sale ends Monday. They're savings up to 62% off throughout all three stores. Plus, buy with no interest or paid in full within 36 months. Think of it, no interest for three full years on over three football fields of new furniture, TVs, and appliances. Reduced up to 62% during Fisher's big anniversary sale with free hot dogs and coke at all three Fisher stores on West Main and Rapid City. your signs into dollar signs. No problems as we start the weekend and really as we end the weekend as well. 40s and 50s across the board tomorrow as we really start a fantastic stretch of weather that will last through the middle of next week. Partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Now if anything it will be a bit breezy from time to time but that will be from the west. The wind will be from the west and that will warm us up into the 50s and low 60s and rapid steep through Wednesday including Valentine's Day, cooler weather by the end of next week. All right, thank you, Keith. Here's a quick preview of some of the stories that we're working on for our Saturday night news. Those sunny skies will make for the perfect weather to get out and hit the ice. Black Hills anglers are in for an ice fishing extravaganza, plus the ice isn't just good for fishing. The Rapid City Rush are back in action at the Civic Center, and Jamie's up will have a, a final score from tonight's game coming up in just a few minutes. Join us for those stories and more tomorrow night on Black Hills Fox News at 9. And before we leave you tonight, Rihanna is gearing up for Sunday's Grammy Awards, and Ricky Gervais has a plan for a shakeup on The Office. Fox says Anita Vogel has more in The Hollywood Nation. Fox has released the first trailer for X-Men First Class. The prequel is the latest installment of the X-Men franchise, focusing on the relationship between Professor X and Magneto, hitting theaters this summer. Lady Gaga's Valentine gift to her little monsters came early. The mega pop star released her new single, Born This Way, early Friday morning. And it's the first off the new album, dropping May 23rd. Rihanna. Rihanna is not letting her health get in the way of her performance during Sunday night's Grammys. The R&B star came down with bronchitis and laryngitis, but promises she will take the stage. And Ricky Gervais wants Will Arnett in the office. The creator and executive producer of the U.S. version recommended Arnett to replace Steve Carell after he departs this spring. How did you get gum in your hair? I was walking in and I noticed something shiny under Stanley's car and I got under to see what it was and I messed up my hair. In Hollywood, Anita Vogel, Fox News.
All right, let's get our Rush update and our movie update as well. Uh, Rush uh, went at the final 4-2 over the Arizona Sundogs. I will be the first in line tomorrow for the Justin Bieber concert event. Oh, uh, what? No, you are no, not. 127 really. hours is out and possibly the Eagle on Sunday. Okay, okay, there, there we you go. go. Make sure you join the weekend crew tomorrow night at 9. If you're tossing and turning at night, it could mean that you need a new mattress. Fishers has just the right city mattress you need to get a restful night's sleep. Through Monday, get any size city, twin, full, queen, or king for one low price. Only $99 each piece, $149 each piece firm, $199 Euro pillow top, and $249 Ultra Plus Euro pillow top. Sealy, America's most trusted mattress brand. Choose your firmness, any size for one low price, with no interest of paid in full within 36 months. Through Monday, at Fisher Furniture on West Main and Rapid City. When I'm waiting to get a haircut, I like to spread the word about Ford. How are you? <laughs> Take me to your edge. I saw the look of the car, I'm like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is my Ford Touch. I have a great navigation system. Was Careful. it love at first sight? Absolutely. Mike, what do you like about the Escape? I'm definitely pleased with the gas mileage with my Escape. The Escape has everything you need. And everything I want. Now, get 0% financing for 60 months on a fuel-efficient Ford Escape. Visit your local Ford store today. You're a fine driver. You're a great passenger. That's what I was looking for. Coming up next, only on Black Hills Fox. News at 9. Before we leave you tonight, wedding bells for a Glee star and a star that tastes like cake. I'm curious. Fox's Adam mm. Housley has the details from the Hollywood Nation. Katie Russell. Hey, hey. Funny man Russell Brand thanks his co-star Jennifer Garner tastes like red velvet cake after kissing her while filming his latest movie, Arthur the remake of the Dudley Moore classic. Brand also jokes husband Ben Affleck should be very upset. Making his directorial debut, Dermot Mulroney will step behind the camera taking on Love, Wedding, Marriage. The romantic comedy will star James Brolin, Jane Seymour, and Mandy Moore, but as of now, there is no release date. Appearing before a Las Vegas judge, pop star Bruno Mars hopes to walk out without jail time for a felony cocaine possession charge. The 25-year-old Grammy nominee will work out a plea deal, pleading guilty on his first offense when he next appears on February 14th. So Coach Sylvester, this is the most elaborate routine the Cheerios have ever done. And lots of rumors circulating around Glee's Diana Agron and her I Am Number 4 co-star Alex Pettifer. Us Weekly is claiming the two are engaged while her rep says these reports are untrue. One thing is true, you can see her and Fox's Big Sunday Super Size Glee episode airing after the Super Bowl. So very In old. Hollywood, Adam Housley, Fox News. All right, so what are your picks? Do you have a pick for the Super Bowl? Well, I'm going with the uh, Packers. Now, you hope they win, or you, you know, think I kinda, they'll win? I kind of hope they do, actually. All right, I'm with the Packers. I don't know. Packers right. are on a roll. Steelers don't have their starting center or the starting left defensive end. Aaron Smith is out with a torn tricep, so... I so just... the sports guy's going with the Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning wow. toward the green and gold. That's it for us tonight. Join the weekend crew tomorrow.